Hello again, welcome back everyone. Liquor Hound here with you. Thank you for joining me once again for another spirit review video. And we have reached that time of year once again where we have passed the midpoint in September. So all these limited editions or hard to get bourbons are beginning to show up on our liquor store shelves. And I'm talking about today, we're going to be reviewing the Four Roses limited edition single barrel. Uh, the small batch will follow. It hasn't hit my store area yet. Uh, then you're going to get the Buffalo Trace Antique Collection, the Pappy Van Winkle line. So we need to get our wallets ready, unfortunately. But we're going to review the 2014 single barrel, and we're going to compare that one to last year's limited edition 2013 single barrel. Now this year's is actually an OESF, the E meaning a very high corn, low rye recipe, 75% corn, 20% rye, 5% malted barley, the F being an herbal quality yeast. Um, that one is going to be running 113.8 proof, retailing around 100, 110. Last year's 2013 limited edition was an OBSK. It was 13 year old. I think I mentioned it. 11 year old here for this year's. 13 year old for last year's 2013. OBSK, which is going to be a high rye. Uh, the B meaning high rye character. So it's 60% corn, 35% rye, 5% malted barley again, with the K being a spicy character yeast. Now, this one, I wanted to have this one because I know it's getting harder and harder to find these limited editions. Buffalo Trace Antique Collection. They're being allocated out very, very tightly. Uh, so if you can't find the 2014, don't worry about it. I'm going to show you that sometimes these uh, personally selected, uh, just standard four rows of single barrels can be amazing. This one was personally picked by a NASA liquor in Houston, Texas. It's an OBSV. So again, the B being a high rye with the V being a delicately fruity yeast at only 100 proof, at only about $40. We're going to see how it compares to the uh, limited editions. Okay, so the 2014 limited edition. Now this guy was limited to, I think, a 7,122 bottles, with the U.S. only getting 5,000. Uh, last year's was 65.59, with the U.S. only getting 4,000. So there should be a few more bottles of the 2014 around, but I know, like I said, they're very hard to find right now. Wow. Okay, so when you do pour this guy, when I smelt it initially, it was really big, spicy, a lot of alcohol coming out of the glass. It felt really a little bit unapproachable at first. Now that it's sat for about five minutes, nothing but brown sugar pouring out of this glass. Very, very sweet brown sugar. Nice, sweet oak character. The fruits, cherries, raspberries. some mint, some clove, some cinnamon, a touch of like a, <clears throat> oh, what is it, cocoa powder or fudge as well on top of that rich brown sugar nose. So very big, very sweet with a fair amount of cinnamon in there. Compare that to the 2013. Okay, so this one, Just by the nose, you can tell, while this one is very sweet, very brown sugar forward, this one feels a little bit older, a little more aged to it. Uh, while it's only two years difference, you get the brown sugar, you get the caramel, sweet oak again, red fruits, cherries. The mint is a little more subdued here. Uh, you do get it, but it's very, very low but you do get more like an orange peel in this one. Cinnamon is still there. Touch of clove, but it's, it's very, very, again, it's down there with the mint. It's a little more quiet. You do get a nice refined leather, a fine leather aromatic to it. Uh, very, very nice there. <clears throat> okay, Four Roses Single Barrel. The NASA Liquor, Private Selection. Okay, here we go. While not being as big aromatically as these guys, it is equally complex. I still get the brown sugar, a uh, big caramel note, so it smells sweet. You get the oak, the cedar. I get cedar on this one. I get mint on this one. Orange peel as well. 
clove and cinnamon. Eucalyptus even on this one. Wow. That's one of the best personally selected four roses I've seen. Uh, very unique barrel there. But that's the thing. When you go to your uh, big chain liquor store and they've done these private selections, they've gone to the distilleries, they've tasted from several barrels, picked the one that they thought was the, the best of the best. So you usually do get a little higher quality product when you do these private uh, personally selected bottlings. All right, back to the tasting. 2014. Wow. Just like the nose. Very big brown sugar. Very viscous. It does envelop the mouth. Cinnamon spice coming mid-palate, driving big. But it's complementing that very big opening of the brown sugar. Again, almost maple syrup um, feeling. How coating it is, how big it is. Uh, the fruits coming in mid palate as well as that big brown sugar note starts to come in and mirror up with the, the heavy sweet oak. Uh, then you get the berries coming in underneath. See, there is some cedar on the, uh, the flavor, a mint. There is also a cinnamon, the big cinnamon spice coming up, clove underneath that. And kind of like uh, the way that rich brown sugar feels as it's lingering and you're starting to get that the fudge element and uh, as it comes on mid palate when you get that heavy oak when you get the fruits coming in that cocoa powder or the the dusting of cocoa powder on it on top of all those other mint and other flavors very very nice lingering a very long time does feel a touch just a touch tannic uh, on that mid palate as that oak begins to dry out just a little bit. I wouldn't call that a flaw by any means. It's more just a, another added element to this bourbon. It's very big, it's very sweet and spicy coming on on that finish. All right. But it does, that spice really kind of mellows out and it's lasting a very, very long time. Mm. All right, 2013. Definitely more citrus here. Inners, brown sugar, cinnamon spice right up front. Then it's followed by the rich red berries, the orange peel, mint, clove again. Cinnamon, but the cinnamon is more muted here than it was here. Sweet oak again. Feeling very refined, feeling like a, 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 a nice vintage leather on the finish or a very subtle loose leaf tobacco. It's showing its age. The extra two years do add that, that leather and that tobacco element. Uh, I do like the orange peel aspect that I was getting here, but I wasn't getting here. But it's not as sweet. It's not as sweet. So if you don't like sweet bourbons, the 2013 was where it was at. This 2014, very, very sweet. Uh, sweet. Big. Oof. All right. So we're going to see what this Four Roses Single Barrel 100 proof does to the, the big boys. Wow. Beautiful. Very drinkable right off the bat. Being 100 proof, it's not... The cinnamon's not big and bold. It's not burning me down, making me feel like I need to add water or anything like that. But just as complex as this one, just on a smaller scale. It's not cast strength. So I'm still getting a very, very sweet vanilla, caramel, oak uh, driving character. At nine years and three months old, it's still already, it's already has it. It's got the orange peel element that I found in this one. It's got the mint, the eucalyptus, the clove, the cinnamon. It's got all that. Uh, the eucalyptus is one thing I found in here. It's almost like a sandalwood, the way the cedar and the mint are reacting together with that sweet vanilla oak. Um, wow. 
That's the one thing I don't find in either of the other two. It almost feels and tastes like a like an incense, uh, as well as the typical very very sweet fruity vanilla for roses. Really really quality pick there by them. So again, if you can't find these two, don't worry about it. See if you can find personally selected Four Roses single barrels. They can sometimes be amazing as this one is. I hope everybody enjoyed this video. Uh, keep leaving those great comments. I really do appreciate it. See what you can go out there and find. And everybody, good luck and cheers.